Hi, welcome to our overview of Comtrack today. Today we're just going to go over the navigation of Comtrack and some of the features. And there'll be other videos like process, how to process commissions, how to bypass items. Um, quite a few uh, videos will be posted in the next uh, couple weeks. But this is just an overview. So this is the screen. This is the main menu screen uh, you see when you uh, first execute Comtrack. The, as you see, the left side is the commission processing steps. These are the steps that you're going to go through on a monthly, quarterly, or whatever period basis you're going to calculate commissions. It's, um, as you can see, you, you can get invoices first. You put a date range in. You decide what you, whether you want to do gross profit or sales. You can select a rep, or you can select multiple reps by holding down the control key and then you would just hit submit submit and it would go get all the uh, invoices on QuickBooks once that happens you would be viewing the invoices as we see there's no invoices selected you'll see that in the processing you'll uh, print out the reports if you're doing gross profit you have an unpaid invoice report you view the bills and, uh, and you can what it does is this shows you a summary of what each rep is going to get going to get and then if the rep is either a uh, is a vendor I just say if it's a vendor you can send the bills to QuickBooks this just views the bills this sends to QuickBooks when you're all finished you can click the update history and what that does is it flags all the invoices that you've selected as processed. This means that if you went back and just got invoices again, nothing would come up. The so let's go to the home. On the other side, these are the this is the menu. We have home, current reports. It's a list of reports besides this one that you can print out after you, uh, from the current uh, invoices that you've selected. You've got. Uh, Detailed statements by rep, customer, by invoice number, summaries, summaries without cost, totals. Totals are very good because it's a good thing to get a quick over a quick view of the totals for the rep. It's a, it's a good way to spot any uh, major errors. Then you have um, some other uh, processing reports, which we'll go at another time. History reports. You can go get your history. You can click on this, and if you if you did this drop down, you would see uh, the date processed of batches. So you can pick any batch that was uh, processed. This way you can reprint the reps invoices. Um, these are some other um, reports. We have another group for other reports. We have commission plans or certain um, certain editions of quick of um, contract. Then we have our setup options. Setup options, well, this is where most of the options are. You have gross profit, you have sales, and you have, you can either get cost depending on, uh, there's two actually editions. There's a standard edition and the premium edition. The standard edition allows you to do gross profit and sales, but you can only get cost from the purchase the purchase item itself. If you want to get it from the from sales orders or bills or uh, we even have you can get it from QuoteWorks estimates then you'll need the premium edition. Well, we'll go over there another time. So the last thing is the system utilities which is mostly for our support department but um, it allows you to export data, delete certain history, change where the database is located, make, compact your, your uh, database, things like that. We recommend unless that you don't really go into this unless you're guided uh, by, the, uh, by a, a support rep, okay? Anyway, that's pretty much the, um, the overview. Uh, like I said, uh, you can go see some of the other uh, videos. Uh, the next video you really should look at is the commission processing video. It will actually take you through the steps that we went over here. So, and don't uh, feel free to call us at any time 1 800 765 8030. Press 2 for sales. 
or three for support, or you can um, you could uh, email us at either info at comptrack.net or info at comptrack.biz. Thank you very much for looking at this, and um, we'll hope to talk to you soon.